Good morning, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like if you enjoy my videos. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want notifications for the next time I put something out. So today is Saturday and I thought I would take a page out of Gail Augustinelli's playbook and do a scrappy Saturday. So I, to that end, I have pulled out, I'm going to make clusters, I think, and I have pulled out this entire bin of long scraps, big, big medium-sized scraps, this bin of tiny scraps, and then I have also out three, I don't know what you'd call these, just little bits and bobs that you can put on things to embellish. So I'm going to put all of that over there and I'm going to go ahead and pull a few things out. Like I said, I'm making clusters today, so I want to do a couple of solids and a couple of uh, prints and you know just whatever happens to come to hand um, first. So we'll, actually I've got two of those and I got this is sticking out at me. So yeah, we'll go with these and see what happens. Now that one we're going to leave in. So we've got a bunch of scraps here and these are the larger pieces. So we're going to start with those and then we'll find something smaller to go along with it. So these are clusters. This is a piece of, um, what is it? Embossed. I almost said embellished. Embellished is what it's going to be. This is a piece of embellished no, I'm see. I'm just gonna do it again. I'm just moving that bigger bin out of my way. Um, embossed. This is a piece of embossed something. This is a color that goes nicely with it. So let's go ahead and just slide those out of the way a little bit. And let me take a piece of that. I kind of like how that goes. And then we'll find something out of here. I have book, I also have book pages, but that's already got some writing on it. So I don't know that it needs much in the way of, or do I want to put something glitzy behind it? No, I don't think so. I got a little piece of, that's too yellowy. We'll save that for one of the other pieces. Okay, I don't seem to have anything in here that's going to fit. Other than that, the other than what I've got, all right. Let me move that up out of the way because that that'll probably become another piece. I kind of like that. I don't want to cover up the hearts too much. And do I want it? Let's put the hearts so the hearts are straight up and down. Okay, I'm gonna take that and we'll throw that in there. I do tend to arrange my stuff first, um, because. You know, you never know exactly. There's just a little piece of white. Um, I might find something different, something that I like different. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know that I like that or not. Let me look in my... These are just a bunch of mostly washy thingies that I have done over the... Just looking for elements that go together and then we can always add a sentiment or something later on i like that i like that shape i don't know that i like the gray just a little bit label here oh that's not so bad if we did that there we go let me just clean those up out of the way. So I have a brand new glue stick. Brand new. Just opened up. And I don't know about you, but I always have trouble getting them open the very first time. So I use my pliers. Grab onto it and just yank. So I'm covering up the hearts a little bit, but not a lot. I want to make sure that some of those hearts show. Yeah, I've just, I've been working on a lot of different projects. I just finished a journal swap journal. I really like how it came out. I did put 
the I will uh, did I put the video? Yeah, I put the video up um, on this past Wednesday. So that video is live if you want to take a look at that. That one won't be for sale. That one again is going for a journal swap. I don't know who it's going to yet. Um, the names have not been chosen. So I will let you know when those come out. Yeah, this is more of a cluster than a journal card. I, mean, I suppose I could back it if I really decided I wanted it as a journal card. Um, but I think it's probably going to be more of a cluster to be used. Oh, maybe on the cover of a journal. Um, could be, do I, I like it down here, I think. It's not sticking up there. There. <clears throat> One cluster done. I don't really have a formula. I know some people kind of have a formula that they follow when they mass make clusters. I don't. I just kind of go for it and do what I'm going to do. Now, I did not ink any of the edges on the other one because it's had such a dark background. Sorry, that is not sticking as well as I'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this one. Actually, I'm going to rip these edges a little bit more. Give that a little bit more of a distressed look. I don't throw these out. Those will become new paper. I'd like to use lots of different types of paper when I make paper. I'm almost ready to make another batch. I'm a little ticked because the last batch I made came out this really beautiful teal color. And once it dried, I took everything and I put them everything away. Do you think I can find those papers? I put them away so efficiently, I don't know where they are. So I'm going to have to make more. All right, let's go ahead and throw that one away. Uh, distress these edges now. So I am preparing things for my knee surgery. I'm actually kind of excited about this surgery. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also getting very excited about it because it'll mean I can walk without pain again, and that'll be really nice. Okay, that's got to be the, nope, that's got to be the top. Because I don't know about you, but it drives me crazy if the numbers are upside, if the letters are upside down and I can't read them. Um, so I always try to find the, the top in this case here. I have a little bit of this. Okay, a little, this is a, um, I, this is onion skin. I dyed, sorry, I'm just a little bit repeating here. Um, this is a little bit of an onion skin dyed doily. I had a good time doing, doing it, but when I picked this particular doily up, I'm afraid I ripped it a little bit. And so I ended up, the, the actual doily is in, is in that journal that I'm giving away. Um, okay. Now you need something. Actually, I don't, I have these. Let me see what I've got in this. Okay, this one says, Welcome to London. This is, I had, I had um, tracing paper, and I had done stamping on the tracing paper. Well, when I ripped it out, I ended up with all these little tiny pieces. And so I stamped on the little pieces, because waste not, why not? And now I have all of these really cool pieces that are stamped on tracing paper. So the stuff underneath tends to come through. This one says, welcome to London. And I think we'll leave it just like that. Look, remember, these are clusters. The clusters, the, the purpose of a cluster is to go on to a page and then, you know, you, you may embellish further from there. It depends on how you're going to end up using it. This is a uh, book page. It's a little bit straight up, but that's okay. I think that works for this one. 
I don't know, I guess I haven't been using this particular dauber long enough. I see people who are, who they just pick it up and they just use their dauber and it's already got a whole lot of ink on it. And mine sometimes has some ink on it, but certainly not enough to do a whole thing. So there we go. We'll put that up on there. Let's find something out of here. Kind of, I got a yellow and a red thing going on there. What do I have here? I got an orange piece. If I can get it out of there, got a nice orange piece, or so I like that. Let's go ahead and put that on. This is a page that I, um, a, a book page, obviously, that I colored. I had some leftover. I was doing something acrylic, something with acrylic yellow at one point, and I had all this paint left over, and I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just went ahead and put it on this. I like that one better. Oh, here. I think I like even this one even more than that. Because there's a little bit, you can't see it probably very well, um, but there's a little bit of color in that one, a little bit of design. So no, I have no uh, formula for making these. I just do them. I have this little leaf. Go ahead and put the little leaf on there somewhere. There, put the little leaf on there. We still need something down here. Oh, there we go. Let's see, let's see if I got any brown on there. Yeah, there's enough, I guess, for something little like this. I think Carrie the Crafter says that in order to get good at collaging, you have to collage. It just takes practice, and then your eye begins to see what it likes and how many layers to put on. Um, so there, there's another little cluster. Oh, shoot, I forgot to put my timer on. I was going to put my timer on so I didn't go too long on this. But let's just keep going and see what we got. Okay, I have this piece. This was a photograph. It's actually a piece of a photograph. Um, but I don't need it to be a photograph. I don't, I mean, I can cover it up. I have these really cool corners. I might put that in there. Got a lot of white in here. I need to get rid of some of my white. This is a piece of, I like that better. I don't know if I want to keep that there or not. Eh, what the heck? Things are getting a little bit crowded on me here. We've been having some really nice days here in the Finger Lakes. Today is going to be a very moderate temperature day, so I'm good on that. My husband is directing a production of Godspell, and uh, the cast is coming over tonight for, oh, just to sit around and talk. We have a nice big front porch. This is a Queen Anne Victorian, so it has a beautiful, beautiful porch. One of the reasons we bought it was for the porch. Okay, that looks really good. And it needs like a sentiment or something across it, but I don't have anything of that sort. I don't know if I wanna put, no, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I don't have my sentiments out. If I find them, maybe I'll put one in. I do have this little round thing that says airmail on it. What the heck? I do like the little... It, I'm learning to work with shapes as well as... I want the airmail to be up to the top so that you can actually read it. I'm learning to work with shapes. So I've got a triangle, a rectangle, and a circle that are covering that up. And then I'll put a sentiment of some sort across the top. I just don't want to dig out my sentiments right now. I'm being a little bit lazy in that regard. 
Okay, I have a nice long one here. And I think it needs something long on the outside. Let me... This is... Um, I store bought. It's a feels like handmade paper, but it's store bought. Um, it came in a scrap pack from, I believe, the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna ink up those edges, and then I'm gonna ink up the edges on this one as well. And this, I think, came off of a digital. It was just the scrap end of a digital that I had at one point. So let's go ahead and add that in. Yes, this goes on purple. I am using uh, Elmer's washable school glue. It goes on purple, but it will dry clear. There. So now I have two rectangles, so I need something that's not a rectangle. So let's pull out my circles. What do I have in my circles? I have another owl. He would have to go at the top because his head got cut off. I think when I printed it, I just didn't quite have it printed in the right spot. I have a nice little map piece. I like that if I do it off center. Um, I have a little bit more of this. If I do that and this. Well, I like this. The colors fit. So let's go ahead and just ink all over here. If I'm not inking in camera, it's okay. It's just, I'm just inking. I'm not doing anything fancy. Let's stick that down. I have discovered it's far easier to ink the surface than the, than the doily because the doily just makes a mess. Um, and like I said, it's gotten kind of ripped and torn. It's a vintage, right? We're going to go with vintage. I don't know. I still don't know if I like that. I had the one thing out. I don't know if I like it. I have a little one here. I could do that. Some of my little ones have gotten over in my big... This was... Um, I love these little things. I picked these up at Michael's for like two bucks or a buck. These little containers. I got my lid is in use at the moment. And then they just go together. And then I again, Carrie, you know, I realize we have never met. You probably have no idea that I even exist. But I'm I learned so much from you. And this little trick of in order to put a divider in there, it's just a piece of paper folded in the middle. And it now I have two places to put my circles rather than just one and they're not all mixed in together. So it makes it a lot easier. I do like this color on there. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So Carrie, thank you for all that I have learned from you. You've really helped me become a better crafter. I'm not going to use that. I think I'm going to use that, leave that just like that. And then again, uh, when I end up using it, if I find a sentiment, I will throw that in there. All right, I'm going to keep on doing this for a little while, but I just thought I'd stop and share my day with you a little for a little while. I have made uh, several little clusters here in the time that we've been together. Let me move my glue book out of the way so you can see a little better. Okay, so I've made four little clusters, and I'm going to keep it. Like I said, I have no rhyme no reason i'm just working it doing it as i see fit and i want to give a special shout out to carrie the crafter because although i've not seen him do these particular clusters i'm sure he has probably has a video out on them but i've learned a lot about collage and technique from him all right, this is uh, Cindy, and this is my channel, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Happy Saturday. This is Cindy signing off.